Welcome to video number eight for Control Shift Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas. A1 in the Workbook Array Formulas DVD book start, and we're on the sheet topics. Hey, we've been talking a lot about uh, array operations. We talked about different types of arrays, and last video we even talked about array functions. This video we want to follow up on um, something similar to array functions. We want to talk about array formulas to deliver multiple values to multiple cells simultaneously. I'm going to click on this link to number eight, and as I've been doing in the last few videos, off to the side there's um, a synopsis, a short list of all the concepts for array formulas that we. Uh, have got so far. So this one's just going to be related to array function delivering more than one value. But we're not going to see an array function. We're actually going to create an array formula, highlight a bunch of cells, and enter all of the formulas simultaneously with Control Shift Enter. Now here are some names. And we want to enter number one, two, three, four, five, but we don't want anyone to delete um, one of the rows here or insert any row. So I want the numbers 1 to 10 here, right? And so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to highlight all the cells in advance and I'm going to say equals row. Now the row function, right now, if I were to control enter and enter this, this would give me a formula, an arguментless formula in each cell that tells me what rows it row it is in. Now that's not what I want, and that's not an array formula, by the way, but F2. But watch this. Since I want to always have this data set together in the row, which can be an argumentless function or an arg a function filled with arguments, I'm going to highlight B6 to B15. Now, if I were to Control Shift Enter right here, this would be not a specific array function, but I could enter this function as uh, with Control Shift Enter, and it would deliver the numbers 6 to 15. Now, notice reference is usually expecting a single value, but if I give it a bunch of values and Control Shift Enter, it will obey. There will be curly brackets up in the formula bar here, but it doesn't give me quite what I want. I really want the numbers 1, the numbers 1 to 10. So I'm going to F2. And from that row, I'm going to minus the row of, and I'm sitting in B6, so I'm going to type B6. Now that's kind of silly because what's uh, this will be an array operation, right? Because this operation is being done on an array of values. Right now, if I were to highlight this and hit the F9, you could see it's given me all those rows. And then this is a single number, which will be 6. But notice F9, Control Z. What's 6 minus 6? 0. So if I Control Shift Enter, you see it gives me 0 to 9. I'm going to hit F2. You also could have just highlighted that and hit the uh, F9 key. That's not quite what I want, so I uh, add 1 to get back in. Now this is a construction we'll see later when we're doing data extraction formulas. And we need to determine from a bunch of rows, just some rows with criteria. So this cool little formula element, F9, gives us all of the relative positions of the uh, these names in the list. Now for us, we're not going to do anything except for use the numbers 1 to 10. So I'm going to hold Control, Shift, and Enter. Now if I try to delete this with the Delete key, it tells me cannot do it because it's part of an array. If I use my control forward slash, it highlights the current array. If I right click insert, it says, no, sorry, pal, can't do that. So that's uh, one way to get the numbers 1 to 10 and not have anyone mess with them. Now, there are other ways we could do this. If we had these names actually in B1 to B10, and I don't have that set up over here. But I'm going to highlight this and type equals row. And you'll see this often that people will, con I'm going to Control Shift Enter. That gives me the numbers 1 to 10. But it's not as robust as this. The fact that we had to go through a bunch of extra hassle to construct this. Watch, here's the advantage. If I come up to row A1 and right click Insert, these remain 1 to 10, which is exactly what we want. But over here, we have 2 to 11. So that can mess up um, your, your formula, your array formula, if, you don't, uh, if you're going to have structural updates like that. And really, ultimately, you want to try and make formulas as robust 
as possible. I love that word robust. I got that from Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board. Robustify your formula. So this is not very robust, whereas this is. Actually, two more things. Um, you might uh, cut and paste this somewhere else. So if I Control X and come down here and Control V, because this formula was self-contained, meaning in the actual data set, it updates perfectly, right? If I could take this and Control X and paste it down here, right? Control V, of course, it's the same as inserting a row. It's not going to work. I'm going to Control Z Z. Uh, and one last thing, escape to turn those dancing ants off. Uh, a lot of times these calculating notes are quite good, but notice this row minus row plus one. This is an array calculation which generates those. Then the row gives us six. Now this is an array of values, and then we have an operation subtracting a single number. This number then gets subtracted from each one of the items in the array to produce this. And then finally, the same thing happens here. It's plus a number, an array of values plus a number. This is an array calculation. But the single number gets added to each one of those numbers there. All right, so we saw how to create an array formula, enter it into multiple cells to get multiple uh, values using Control-Shift-Enter. And then there's some advantages to that. And again, we'll use this later in some great data extraction for this. All right, uh, that was video eight. Video nine coming up, which is going to be all about the amazing sum product function. We'll see you next video.